I am Peter Lee for News Buds, China Watch. This week on China Watch, the Chinese Communist Party's plan to de uyghurize and sinicize Xinjiang. In this special edition of China Watch, we look at perhaps the most extreme exercise in ethnic assimilation ever attempted, the People's Republic of China's campaign to sinicize its far west holding the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region through bleeding edge security and demographic measures. The PRC's Xinjiang program has attracted the critical interest of the Western world as an egregious violation of human rights, focusing on an apparently extensive campaign of extra-legal detention and indoctrination in re-education camps of hundreds of thousands and perhaps as many as a million Uyghurs. China's critics have aired their grievances before the UN Committee to End Racial Discrimination in Geneva. China sent a 48-person delegation to the hearing, raising expectations that next week the PRC will for the first time publicly acknowledge and seek to defend its activities in Xinjiang. It would seem that re-education camps are a recipe for disaster for the PRC, crowding together thousands of rightfully aggrieved Uyghurs together under conditions highly conducive not only to a heightened sense of grievance but also activism, networking, and potentially radicalization. Well, maybe there's something more at work. In this episode, we'll look at the history and context of the PRC attempts to pacify Xinjiang, the current policies, the mystery of the re-education camps, and whether dreams of integrating Xinjiang into the greater Chinese polity will end in success, catastrophe, or somewhere in between. My report also covers the suppressed history of foreign diddling in the Uyghur cause, U.S. shenanigans at Guantanamo, and Turkey's Recep Erdogan's disastrous bet on Uyghur paramilitaries as his ticket to supremacy in northern Syria and Central Asia. It's the kind of reporting thoughtful readers expect and deserve. Knowledgeable, in-depth, and objective. And for China issues, China Watch is pretty much the only place you'll find it. Current mainstream China reporting is driven by spin, talking points, and groupthink from outlets whose perspectives and programming are shaped by the priorities of the Pentagon and the Millsec industry. And they really want their confrontation with China. If you're not interested in spending a trillion dollars on Cold War 2.0, and maybe Hot War 3.0, with the People's Republic of China, and you hope for world peace and prosperity, you need China Watch. Navigate to newsbud.com to join the best community of free thinkers on the internet. Do it now to get my full report on China's Xinjiang campaign, and access to nearly 100 episodes of China Watch packed with information and fresh perspectives. You'll also get access to NewsBud's full roster of cutting-edge analysts on the full range of foreign policy, covert action, and civil rights issues. Subscribe now. You'll be glad you did. Music